Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to port forward uh, any server or whatever you want to run on your PC. Now, there's two things you need when you're going to do this. You need your IPv4 address, which is your home computer's address, and you also need the port. So, to quickly find your IP, you go to your command prompt, and then you type in IP config, just as I've typed it, type it up there. So, just like that, and then you press enter. And you find your IPv4 address. Just look around, make sure it's not like Hamachi or anything. And then you, I control C and copy it there. And then the second thing you need is your port. So whatever port you're going to port forward. So I'm going to show you guys uh, with Minecraft uh, where you can find you to what port you're using. So if you just go over to your servers um, folder here, and then you go to the server um, dot text file. Then you can find your port right there. So this one's 25565. And we're going to copy paste that over to this note here. Now, with those two things in mind, you're going to go to your browser down here. Type in either your IP address or you can type in 192.168.0.1, and that should bring up your um, router's. That should bring up your router's access point. And then uh, once you have that, since I have this uh, certain type of router from Shaw, my username is cussadmin, and then your password is usually to be either password or admin, I don't know. You just look up online what your uh, username and password for your router should be, or just look on your router, because usually your router will have that written on it somewhere, unless your parents have changed it. Now, once you're into your router, what you want to look for is something about port forwarding or go to like advanced settings. For me, I'm going to have to go to basic and then go to port forwarding. And now what I'm going to do, see, I have all these ports port forward. I already have Minecraft and Unturned port forwarded. What you want to do is you want to like add a rule or add port or whatever, whatever your, your router says. And then for application name, type in whatever application. So for this one, we're doing Minecraft. But this is, what I'm going to type in test, because I already have Minecraft. And you want to set it to TCP slash UDP. And then you type in the port that you need. So for, our, the, for the port for Minecraft 25565, but since I already have that entered in, I'm going to type in 25566. And then you're going to enter it in for uh, both sides. So start and end. And then in the private port, same thing as well. And then for your, your local IP, you want to put in the IP address that we got from the IPv4. Now, for this port to stay open to you, you have to make sure that your IP address stays static so it doesn't change. Because sometimes when you go offline, uh, you get a new IP address given to you because your router has a bunch that you can just give to different devices. So now we're gonna, what we're going to go do is going to go set it so that your IP for your device stays static. So here we are, we're going to LAN setting, setup, and then you go to DHCP reservation. So this will reserve it. So see on the bottom here, I already have mine reserved, but what you can do is you can manually enter in your device name, your IP address, and your MAC address. So uh, you can t call your device whatever you want to call it, and then you enter in the IP address you want to assign to your uh, device, and then you enter in your MAC address. So my MAC address is at the bottom here. We can just take that, and then you can press Add, where you can find your MAC address is in your settings on your computer somewhere, or you sh should already be able to find it somewhere on your router, because your router can see all your device, the devices on there, their, and their MAC addresses as well. And then once that's done, then your port's been port forwarded and everything should work. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this video very helpful. And if you have any trouble, just give it a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you.